Well, I thought I was going to bed until I heard some movements. So I got out, popped the hood, bam, mouse, right away. First thing I see, I saw it scamper off. Saw it again, swatted at it again. I don't know if I got it or if it fell down or what the heck happened to it. I sprayed Lysol under my hood, hoping that that would persuade it to go away. There's a sign over here that says to keep your hood popped if you don't want them. So I'm just gonna leave my hood open for tonight. The joys of living on the road. Well, Andy. I can attest to the fact that dryer sheets do not work and that fresh cab crap does not work. So I'm up at 2.46 in the morning. I did see a confirmed mouse on the floor in the front driver's side. So luckily my last resort, I, I have a last resort, which is good old fashioned mouse traps. So I got some peanuts. I put a trap on all four uh, sides pretty much. All right, we're gonna try this again. All the traps are set. Really disappointed that the dryer sheets and cab fresh didn't work. I mean, the plus side is my Jeep smells freaking amazing every time that I walk in it, but I really don't want to have to use poison because then it could die in a vent or anything like that. And I would have no idea where it is, uh, maybe even no way of getting at it. Just the smell of rotting dead mouse inside the Jeep does not sound fun. All right, so I just heard one of the mouse traps go off. Pretty sure it was the driver's side in the front. Let's see what we got. It was definitely that one. And it appears to have gotten away. Let's get some gloves and flip this sucker over. Oh no, oh no, it's there. Yeah, it just got it by the leg. Yeah, that's fucking gross. Damn it. Good morning. I got barely any sleep last night. That whole mouse situation. Oh, I uh, I caught another mouse, so I caught two total. I didn't hear anything after that, so I'm hoping that's all the mice that were in there. Let me show you. I had to bring them over here where I was processing wood because I had a big hunk of wood. And I had to smash them. There's number one, there's number two. Plan for today and do another full clean out of the Jeep. Not gonna do, you know, laundry and stuff unless I see a lot of, lot of poopy. But I'm gonna take everything out, inspect everything. Uh, anything with chew marks from mice on it, I'm gonna throw. This is getting old, guys. I am getting real sick of these mice. After I do that full clean out, I'm heading to Spokane. All right, I got my headlamp because I'm looking in fine detail where these little things have been. Didn't see any signs of the mice getting into these bins, which this is where I keep my food and stuff. So they must be coming in for uh, maybe when I'm eating and I drop something uh, and it's kind of in between the seats and stuff. So I might have to go and just uh, vacuum, vacuum out the Jeep. All right, I think I'm ready to leave this freaking place. Dang red top. Really hope that's not an issue that I have to repeatedly deal with. Just entered Idaho. First time I've ever been to Idaho. Really trying not to let this, um, these mouse encounters, you know, get my spirits down or anything. So heading into Spokane. Here, I'm gonna hit up a Denny's. One amazing thing about traveling west is gaining time. I just gained another hour, so instead of 2.15, it is 1.15. Oh yeah. Whoa, another state that I've never been to. I am in Washington. Woo! Washington! Woo! All right, I just made it to the post office where my package should be with all my dehydrated food. It's kind of weird. Once you walk in, it brings you to this vestibule. Then you're supposed to ring a doorbell here. They open up this door, so I don't think I'm gonna have anywhere to pee here. All right, here it is, got it. My mom's name on it, thanks mom. Uh, she mailed it to me. She also included some peppermint oil, so I'll have to try that for the mice since I'm still having problems with that. I'm just gonna put this package in and head to, my next stop was Denny's anyways. And that's what I'm gonna do. 
Let's so go. There's a Home Depot on the way, right around the corner from that post office. And apparently these legs are in aisle 20. Also got to look for totes, maybe those Rubbermaid totes sure. that I can put stuff in. I'm probably going to put my food in there. All right, so let's see what they have for options here. I'm trying to match this as close as possible, and I want heavy duty. Looks like they all come in packs of like four. Pretty generic looking. Been trying to decide here for a while which one to get. They got quite a few options. Decent amount. So over there in that end cap and this end cap. I was walking up to the registers with this and I came across all this. This one is half the price. He's got one more gallon too. I'm gonna do an unboxing of my food package. Let's give this a whirl. Good job taping this, mom. Oh, Jesus. All right, so this is my hamburger noodle corn, my spaghetti, oh yeah, and chili. Dehydrated vegetables, all that fun stuff. Let's see, and this must be the peppermint. Mentha paparita. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate it. All right, now I got a lot of cleaning out to do. I'm gonna try to consolidate all my food right into this. For now, this is gonna work. I actually think this provides a little bit more room and I can put some stuff up on here. All right, I made it to Denny's. Let's get some biscuits and gravy, hash browns and eggs. So ready for this. The Denny's is open 24 seven. And it's this one, it's right next to a hotel. We're pretty close to the airport here, but and right next to I-90, so I'm going to be hearing a lot of traffic and maybe some airplanes and stuff. But you know what? I think I'm going to spend the night in a parking lot. It's the first time I've done that. You know what? Listening to traffic tonight is going to be worlds better than listening to mice right under my bed. Look at all the extra room that I'm going to have tonight just because I got this storage tote. I think this storage tote is a huge, huge improvement. It's a great upgrade. Supper for tonight. Just gonna be some crackers, throwing some jerky there. Had a really good uh, lunch at Denny's earlier. So I'm not, you know, too terribly hungry. I had a milkshake, ooh. I had a treat yourself day. I think I'm gonna kick back, maybe watch a movie uh, tonight. Not do too much. 